This is the only relevant street in London these days. I'm going to check out, show you why you have to spend your whole day in Chilton Street when you come to London. There's actually nowhere else to go to. Um, the main function of this street is this fire station, the Chilton Firehouse. This is Max. So he's the hottest maitre d' in Chiltern. He's always dancing at the door. He's the only person you need to know, basically. He's the last Cockney maitre d' in London. He's got funky socks, really good nail polish. And every time you can just mumble Max when you go into the firehouse, and he would hug you. Or people who know him would hug you. This is Shriji, where you need to sit all day and look at the gate of the Chilton Firehouse to see who's coming in, coming out, and, and wave to Max, the maitre d'. Uh, buy all the magazines to pose with them, nice. sit here. Hey, what's up? I'm back. I'm, I'm obsessed with the street. He's filming me talking about the street. They have all the magazines here. Magazines you never heard of, like the Catnip magazine which is a magazine just how to seduce cats with those nipping things that they get, they get them hooked and then the cats just lie down and they're really high. Um, it's all about cats from behind, imperfect creatures. Apartamento is my goal to one day ride for them. I keep pitching apartments to Apartamento. They always ignore me. This is the most strategically located place in London where this magazine store lies. So I would sit here all day and just look at the gate of the Chilton Firehouse. And this is where you really want to sit, not in a WeWork, because if you sit here, you're more likely to get a job by accident. You're going to run into Isaac Benningson and Angelica Joplin, who's Jay Joplin's daughter. She has a gallery next door, I'll show you. Cars should not be allowed on this street. It's, it's ruining the vibe. I'm actually doing a petition to stop the street from cars. I want to put two big plants in each side so no one can actually drive here. And I'm proud they're evacuating this car. Was he illegally parked? Was he parked here illegally? Abandoned. Oh, just left it here? One of the pillars of the city is Monocle which is a magazine I try to write for many times, but they don't accept straight people, even though they love writing about the Swedish army, interviews with, with boring ambassadors. This is the Monocle store, there's the Monocle cafe, and there's the Monocle office over there. You can go in, and they, they love those yellow benches. We're doing a film about the street, it's okay. Just checking out the products. Uh, just for my YouTube channel, my name is Nimrod. Yeah, um, just filming the products. Okay. Yeah, you no, need no. Permission for that from, the from Tyler. I'll uh, call no, Tyler Brule. Yeah. Someone on behalf mm -hmm. of Tyler though. Okay. So I'm sorry. Love the style. We'll continue. Thank you. Here I came in once. They really hated me asking about whiskey. I never buy stuff, so they hate me. I just keep walking up and down the street the whole day, trying to run into people I know, and posing outside. So it's unclear who's actually buying stuff on this street. There's Crispin shoes. It's always empty, but it's a really cool store. I never went in there. Uh, you, you need to be able to spend like 500 pounds for a shoe, single shoe, but then you return it. There's one cool gardening store. It's a Japanese gardener's dream to shop here in Chilton Street. They have interesting products. You stick your flower. Oh, sorry. Sorry. You stick the flowers here, put them in a pot of water, like here. And then you don't need uh, soil. You just put the flowers, stick them in those. And I'm not sure what this is for. These are scissors to cut leaves. Yep. We're just doing a film about the street, sorry. Hey. Okay, I'll come back to and buy a shovel. Yeah. I mean, it's not like it's the second. Thanks. Never touch handles, always use your coat to touch the handles. 
So the significant thing about Marleybone, the area where this street is at, people are not afraid to say they do nothing all day. If you're in Hackney in a coffee shop, people would pretend to be busy and make up a whole schedule and they pretend not to be able to meet you. And here you would just, people proudly say, yeah, maybe I own some stocks or crypto, but I do nothing all day. I'm proudly unemployed. This is a bowling store. And nobody in Chilton Street ever goes bowling, but they're selling those balls with a place for three fingers. So you can buy one and take it to Los Angeles. And then people love you at the airport if you come with a big bag with one bowling ball and check it in. And then you roll it down on the baggage claim. There's one second-hand store on Chilton Street. It's called John Simmons. Cool stuff. This is a good cord. Oh, yeah. And then this one. You know uh, Tom, that guy from Thailand, he keeps coming here. Tom, Todd, his name. he works at IT allegedly. He does buy here a lot. He sits in Chilton all day in the firehouse. He goes with the big pants. Big trousers, big personality. Small trousers, small personality. This is Club Flannel. They're only selling flammable flannel suits um, and knitted ties. This is the old Chilton Street Deli. Nobody sits here anymore. Super empty. People used to love it, but then they started just sitting in Chilton all day. The trumpet store. Only in Chilton Street you can actually buy a trumpet and a bowling ball full of trumpets here. I know this guy here from the Dashing Tweed store. He tried to convince me to buy a whole tweed suit. Then I was so hot in it, so I had to return it. Do you have 1970 socks, by the way? No, we have... Do you have some socks? socks? We do. Okay. Well, how much are the socks? These are... I'll double check. These are 35, and then the new ones are 45. Mm -hmm. I just paid 40 pounds for one pair of socks in Chilton Street. It's non-refundable, I think. I'm just going to have to live with it. Right. This is the supplement store. I never came in here, but they just let you spray in the street. So then you can continue. It smells weird. If you live on Chitton Street, you want to live on those red buildings. Uh, inside are the ugliest apartments, but at least you can constantly see who's coming in and out. Ideally, if you live across the road from the firehouse, you can actually track people and then you send it to TMZ. This is the glasses shop called Monk and they put glasses on special paper so the glass doesn't touch the uh, actual uh, glass surface because glasses can't touch glass. So it doesn't make the annoying noise of placing glass on glass. This is a sun spell. They shouldn't be allowed on this street because they're like a basic brand. They should be in Chelsea and Kings Road. It's not special enough and everybody knows sun spell already. It's so boring. This is the gallery I mentioned. It's called Incubator by Angelica Jopling. Somehow she got this incredible space just opposite Children Firehouse. Uh, she would be one day the white cube owner curator because her dad owns the white cube. And I would come here every Wednesday to just stand outside and I would sit on my bike and look at uh, the people who are like coming in. She's picking at the coolest artist every Wednesday, 5.30 p.m. And you would never know who you're going to run into. And the key is to not leave after 30 minutes, stay until the end, until 7.30 p.m. And then you can go back into the Chitton Firehouse and sit in the smoking section the whole night without ordering anything. So sometimes you want to hang out at nighttime in children, so what you do is you leave the Bella Freud thing on the table, and then you leave, and at some point they would take the thing, put it in the lost and found in the hotel, and then you can come at midnight when only hotel guests can come to the main bar, and you say, let me go back to get my lost and found Bella Freud. It has to be Bella Freud, otherwise they won't keep it. They also own the Chateau Momo in Los Angeles. You'd see this exact same people in the Chateau Momo sitting in Chilton Firehouse. And you can just say, hey, I met you in Chateau Mamo, or hey, I met you in the Children's Firehouse. And then they would think they're really your friends, and you, you get to know them. And there's no swimming pool or anything, but there's a tower. It's a guide about culture. <laughs>